some of the most popular content we ever put on our channel it has to do with Stranger Things. Uh, there is a, we missed the boat in this. This actually happened a while back, but there was a hilarious uh, sort of a mall promo. Earth, America, Indiana, Hawkins, a growing patriotic community and a shining example of the American dream. Today, Hawkins is taking another step into the future with the brand new Star Court Mall. And when I watched it, I swear, like in Glow, uh, this TV show, Netflix's uh, other original, mm. um, they had a, this, a similar thing where they went to a mall and they did like a ridiculous uh, video to, uh, as a commercial for the wrestling team. And this is very similar to that. Um, and it's very lighthearted and funny, but uh, Sean Levy, the, the executive producer and the director on uh, for season three, at least, um, said, despite this, you know, this lighthearted, uh, cultural, funny silliness, um, there will be a lot more darker and action-packed uh, things going on in season three. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm really looking forward to this. But the problem is, is some of these most loved and most uh, popular shows take forever to get back. This uh, Stranger Things doesn't return until summer of 2019. Wow. So it's like people are just waiting. They're like going online and searching up like anything they can for content just to buy their time because it's going to take a I long imagine. goddamn time for the show to come back. They probably had negotiations with Netflix and Netflix... You know, because they, 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 they've said that they planned this, I think, as a five-season show. They know the actual ending, where it's all going. And the kids are just getting older, and their schedules are getting busy. as become really popular. You know, one's in uh, It, and the sequel, I guess, is Flashbacks, possibly. Um, Millie Bobby Brown and Godzilla, King of the Monsters, That's true, too. So I imagine they were actually shooting the other three seasons all at the same time. To, to wrap it up and that's probably why it's going to take it some time to, to get it out there that's that's my guess plus scheduling you know like as they become juggernauts in the movie industry TV industry yeah. it's hard to make everyone's everyone work everyone's know? busy even Finn, Finn Wolfhard he's busy holding puppies on Jimmy Fallon so um, there's that <sighs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> I knew sorry just I hope we leave this in but I told my colleague I'm going to make a point of mentioning Finn Wolfhard in this podcast so we can put up a couple pictures of him because I know that this will attract a million clicks from girls. So that's this. And some guys. So there you go. And I've done that. I've done my part. And we're no longer colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the Convention Junkies podcast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. To help us out, please donate through our Patreon page.